Under the file menu in the 6000 series, it is possible to save waveforms and front panel setups. So in this example, we're going to make a front panel setup and save it. And also we're going to save a sequence of waveforms that has got some random anomalies occurring in it. So the first thing we're going to look at is the trigger. So the trigger we're going to use is a pulse width trigger to pick out pulses which have a, a negative pulse width wider than two microseconds. So here we see such an example of a waveform. So the first thing we're going to do now is save the front panel setup. So this is under file and select save and we have to select the data type as settings and then we create a file name. So I'm going to use pulse width trigger and save my particular front panel setup. So then at any point in the future that can be recalled under the open menu and we can reopen that particular front panel setup. We're now going to acquire a sequences of random anonymous. So I'm going to select to acquire a sequence of five. So this is available under the tools preferences menu. So here we can select the maximum number of waveforms to be acquired. So I'm going to select to acquire five waveforms. And apply. So now I'm going to acquire five waveforms into my buffer. So I've got buffers of 70 kilo samples selected. So we've found five samples of that now. So now I'm going to stop the acquisition. So I could now step through and look at the sequence of five waveforms acquired, or we can use this icon to step through automatically and visually look at the acquired waveforms. Having acquired the correct data, we can now save this onto the hard copy via the file menu. And to do this, we want to select all waveforms. So I'm going to select the whole sequence and then we can give it a file name. So in this example, I'm going to call my file name five waveforms and save. Now I could select just to save one particular waveform. I'll just stop the acquisition here. So if I wanted to select just to save this one particular waveform, we can select file and save current waveform. So this will only save one waveform in the sequence. So I'm going to call this uh, one waveform. So now we can recall any particular file with the open file menu again. So if I want to just recall the one individual waveform, we can select that. Or if we want to recall the whole sequence, again, we select the five waveforms. And this will load the whole sequence of five waveforms. And again, we could step through and have a look at the sequence of five waveforms that have been acquired. We can also store a reference live memory from the live acquisition. And for this we select reference waveform A. And here, so we can see now we've also have a reference waveform. So if I just run the acquisition, we can compare the live acquisition with the reference waveform. So this can be useful for looking for a particular waveform in a sequence. To remove the reference waveform, we select the channels menu and then deselect the reference. And then we just have the, the live waveform being displayed. A final feature that is available is to replay a saved sequence offline. And this can be achieved by making an animated GIFT file. And this can be achieved by doing a right mouse click on a saved data file and it's converting it to a GIF waveform. And then we can open Explorer and this will then automatically sequence through the saved waveforms. And this is covered in a separate part of the video.